Hello everyone, one of our trucks broke down 300 miles away from Chicago so we decided to rent a tow bar and tow it back to the shop. So now I'm gonna show you a few moments you need to pay attention if you're gonna rent a tow bar and do it by yourself. This is a pro towed tow bar. The first moment you need to pay attention to is the steering wheel. You will need to fix the steering wheel in a straight position. You can wrap the, the seat belt around the steering wheel and buckle it back to its position and also we used also we used one strap we have wrapped it around on the bottom part of the steering wheel and on the bottom under the seat the bracket that goes on the floor make sure it's on the bracket and not on the seat because the seat can move forward and backward and can loosen itself also you need to fold the the mirrors some of them are moving backward on the free liners they are moving forward so close your window on the left side on the right side after this you will need to or as you can see we have the the rear the wings that goes on the rear of the cab on the both sides one one way is to remove them and throw them in the cab or you can just tighten them together like this we use some few pieces of a wood and three straps as you can see one strap on the top, one in the middle and one on the bottom. We use the clamps and attach them together so they are staying tight and the wind can't break them. After this you need to drain the air from the airbags on the rear axles and attach the axle to the frame. Here is one chain. The chain goes on the top of the frame under the axle. Make sure it goes just under the axle and not under the axle together with the SKM or the ABS sensor because you're gonna break them on both sides make sure it goes just only under the axle and attach it back after this go to the rear axle as you can see here we have the chain that goes on the top of the frame make sure it's not touching any wires or airlines it also goes between the axle and the SKM goes under the axle and goes to the rear side you can leave it first on the ground and the same on another side it goes between the axle and SKM it's coming to the rear side you can leave on the ground after you need to come back with this truck with a tow bar align the align this hook closer to the frame attach the attach the chains a little bit loosen so you'll be able to insert this triangle the metal metal triangle it have this piece but it's not gonna allow the chain to slide to the side so it's not gonna damage the the frame or the mad flaps and after this do this on the both sides make sure the triangle it's aligned and after you'll have two buttons you have a remote control with two buttons. One goes up and one goes down. So you will need to go up and make sure the chain is tight. If it's not tight and this thing is going too high up, lower it, tighten again and lift it up. As you can see like this, it's perfect. So it doesn't have, if it's gonna be too loose, it will have a lot of, if it's gonna be too loose, it will have a lot of replay, so it's gonna play back and forth. You don't need this. Make sure it's tight. Before you lower the top bar to the frame, lift it up, remove this pin, and after lower it. And after you lift it up, after you lift it up, make sure to install the pin back and loosen the tension from the cylinder. Make sure the top bar it's laying on the pin again make sure to secure the pin so it's not gonna fall down it's one more chain and run it through the hook of the truck and attach it in these two hooks on the sides and make sure this chain is not too tight if it's gonna be too tight it's gonna be a problem when you're gonna do the turns so you can do a turn on the parking lot and ask someone to make sure the chain is not going too tight when you're turning it about the tow bar as you can see it's locked into the fifth wheel it's attached from the front on both sides it's better if you can run one more chain through this hole and attach it also to the 
bracket of a fifth wheel on both sides on the rear side it's laying on the frame and on the bottom it have two metal plates one and second one and four bolts one two three four when you're tightening the bolts this plate is tightening the the tow bar frame against the frame of a truck so it's not allowing it to jump and move back and forth after the tow bar is connected you need to install the the light bar you can attach it on the dirt guard with the bungee cord or something else and don't forget to run the wire to the back side of your truck where the wire for the trailer goes we run it on the frame secure it on the frame with the zip ties or the bungee cords and in our case it's plugged right here and that's it I'm not a professional, I'm doing it first time, so if you know a better way how to do it, just leave a comment below. I hope this information is gonna be helpful for someone.